Today we're going to talk about tufts. If you've been working on miniatures for any amount of time, you know that basing is probably one of the hardest things to decide what you're going to do with your miniature. What's it going to look like? Where is he going to be standing on the field of battle? How many tactical rocks did they bring to stand on? There's a bunch of options out there for grass and tufts to decorate your bases with. Let's talk about a few of them. Ubiquitous in the hobby, army painter. Almost every shop has an army painter rack of some sort of tools, hobby supplies, paints. I say almost every. Not every uh, game shop is going to have them, but most do. They're pretty accessible. Most distribution carries them. These are going to be very common to run into. Army painter. They're good. They make a variety of tuft basing. You get a decent amount for seven bucks. They come in a graduated size from small to, I'll say, medium size tufts. And they range about a uniform six millimeters, five to six millimeters in length. So they're fairly appropriately sized for most 15 to 32 millimeter modeling as far as a base, appropriate sized for a base goes. This is Deadland Tuft. It's pretty cool. Uh, they make all kinds of different uh, shades and colors, mostly natural colors. Um, they have some flowers, which are just pretty much one big uniform tuft size. Very good value for the money. The old workhorse in the hobby, Vallejo, they make a series of tufts. They have probably two do dozen different natural colored style like army painter does and they have what's called the fantasy tuft line this is the fire which is a red color it's about six millimeters in length as well because this is pretty much the agreed on standard that's good size for most fantasy war games that we as warhammer or uh, age of sigmar players will run into the vallejo company makes also bigger and smaller tufts as far as like height wise go i think they range up to 12 millimeter uh, in length and as small as two millimeter. Uh, the problem with Vallejo, you don't get a lot for the money. This is $5, whereas this is seven for the army painter and you get about half. So for me, the Vallejo, the value isn't quite as good, even though they have more variety, unique stylings than there. So you're going to pay a little bit more for Vallejo Scenery. Another company that does a similar ranging in size is AK. AK has um, their fantasy line. They got some bright, bright, bright red. They're very bold. These are really good. All of these tufts from all these different companies are very, very good. Gamers Grass really pioneered uh, the alien grass look that everybody else is kind of copying now and these are some of their new ones that they just came out with the toxic the purple and the void which is a black grass you're getting about the same amount as you would with army painter varying sizes varying tough configurations no two uh packages are going to have the same they're very organic as you can see once again it's all six millimeter in length so this is all going to be very appropriately sized for uh, Warhammer and uh, other other types of miniatures. So this is this is really good stuff. I'm very partial to the gamers grass because I think um, that their color combinations are some of the best. They do the dark to light transitions on there, so it actually like it looks really good. Whereas like uh, the AK, like this red is just red it doesn't have the depth once again value for money gamers grass is really good it's seven bucks you get a decent amount of tufts i mean if you figure one to two of these per base that's a lot of dudes all games terrain this is woodland scenics they have recently decided that hey maybe war gamers will buy more of our stuff than train guys so they are trying their best to get into the war games scenery uh, part of the game. Now their stuff is really good. Uh, Woodland Scenics is probably one of the oldest companies that has done terrain in existence. We all probably, at least people in my age, um, started with Woodland Scenics uh, flocking, doing our bases back in the 90s. They're entering the Tufts game now, but you can see their Tufts are huge. 
compared to the uh like everybody else's so i'm not sure they've kind of got their marketing focused yet because these are giant i'd show these to you but uh, their packaging is all stapled so uh i'm not gonna ruin this for a video but you can see just how big their their grass this is now this is edging grass it says to you use to line fences walls ready to place right out of the package easily adds texture and variation i still think that they are in the mindset that this is going on like uh static boards or layouts because that's what they've always done it's been like for train boards and stuff so the usability of these things on miniature bases is probably limited not without cutting them or or modifying them just because they're so big now for terrain like doing buildings and stuff this is where it's at because you can cover lots of area i'm probably gonna end up using a lot of this on my uh empire board that i've been working on for a while here just because uh economics of scale like i can cover a lot of area with with one of these as opposed to these little guys here so um they do have some unique things though uh these are dark green shrubs that they have they have some other th plants like this so you could get like some height out of the uh all games terrain items because they they do a lot of like i guess almost like um landscaping or crops style effects as opposed to all these other companies that are solely on tufts that are going to go on miniature bases so for like diorama bases or display boards or just terrain in general the all games terrain is probably the most economical and it's going to look really good but for general miniature basing i don't think i'd use their stuff and that's not a knock against them it's just the scale isn't good so hopefully this helps you in deciding what style or type of tufts that you want to use for your miniatures uh, there are lots of options obviously there are more companies than this that make these types of things out there uh, this is just what we carry here in the shop and this kind of gives you a uh, general overview but anyway thanks for watching bye